In this video, I'm going to walk you through the exact steps that you need to take to become a great engineering manager and leader. One who is goal oriented, but also focused on the people around him or her. I'm literally going to share my entire blueprint with you. So please feel free to take notes during the portions of this video that resonate most with you. In the last three videos, I talked about why a sound development plan executed over time is the best way to develop your management and leadership skills as an engineering professional. Then I showed you how to create time for this development each week with a weekly planning tool. And I also showed you how to build the confidence you need to become a great engineering leader. In case you haven't watched the first three videos yet, please make sure you do so right now because they're filled with a ton of gold nuggets and practical information that shows you how you can get started immediately. You can find the link to the page with the other videos in the description below. So with that being said, let's jump right into the blueprint for building the skills that you need to become a great engineering manager and leader. This is the exact roadmap that I have helped many engineering professionals utilize through our development courses at EMI. Step number one is to develop your communication skills. And I don't just mean your ability to speak clearly with others. I mean your ability to listen effectively and speak to people in the way that they want to be spoken to. And also consider your body language and interactions. You must build this skill to be able to communicate the mission and goals of your projects and to inspire the people around you. Secondly, you must build your technical expertise in your field, which you can do by becoming a thought leader and a regular public speaker. This is an important step because people look up to experts. They respect experts and that respect will help you lead people effectively. Next, you must become really good at building relationships so that you can build a strong network that will yield opportunities for both you and your company, but also create friendships that will keep you engaged and fulfilled in your career. Who said that you can't have fun while being a great engineering leader. Lastly, you will need great time management skills. In fact, if you watch the second video in this series, you already have a solid time management strategy, but there's a lot more to it. You also have to be able to prioritize your skill development and project work effectively. All of this and a lot more is covered in our upcoming remastered Engineering Leadership Accelerator People Skills Development course. I'll show you in detail how to build these hard to come by management skills, as well as become one of the best communicators and most productive engineering professionals in your company. Our instructors will literally walk you through each skill, provide engineering related examples and frameworks for learning each skill, and most importantly, continue to support you after the course is over to help you truly implement these concepts on the job and actually get results, which rarely happens with traditional one and done training programs. So please make sure that you're on the lookout for when our ELA People Skills course launches, because this is literally the best development program that we've ever released at EMI. In the next video, I'll walk you through a detailed case study that shows you how fast you can get results once you've implemented the frameworks and start to build the people leadership skills that we teach in our ELA course. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video and I'm more than happy to help out. And as I mentioned already, stay tuned for the next video because I'll be walking you through that detailed case study that shows you how fast you can get results using the frameworks that we teach in our ELA course. I'll see you there.